A lot has been said about toxic relationships, soul ties, toxic ties, etc. What you mean? How do I know if I'm in a toxic relationship? First off, your de your desire to know or your thought that you are in more than likely says you are in one. Okay, our subconscious lets us know when danger is arising. We rationalize ourselves out of it. So let me give you five things I put down here to kind of help you guys through this in terms of understanding this. Number one, you feel like you're walking on eggshells. The emotional instability, right? You tell your partner you're going somewhere, um, going to the mall, going to the store, supermarket, and you find them following you. Red flag. Uh, come home, you say something, you don't know if you're going to get... Like they say, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, right? We got all these things going on. You don't feel a level of security, uneasiness. Walking on eggshells means you're emotionally stressed to communicate. That's the that's the that's one of the major signs um, of that you're in a toxic relationship. So understand that that's, that's, one of the, that's one of the major things. Number two is you're investing a lot in terms of time emotions and money and getting little in return so you're it's like a black hole right you're giving you're giving you're giving but you're not receiving any reciprocity sometimes we come in that 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 is a sign to some extent of a experience where you are in a relationship with someone who's narcissistic now we throw that term around a lot so I'm just sharing with you that the possibility. I'm not saying your partner's narcissistic, but understand this. If you're contributing all these things in a relationship and you're not getting anything in return, that's going to give you a feeling, number one, of you're not for being fulfilled in any way, shape, or form. You're giving with nothing in return. Number three, you notice your partner is jealous, competitive, and generally unhappy when you're doing well. That's a huge red flag. If your partner is jealous of your success, jealous of your... Because if you can't have a partner that is supportive of you doing well and you want to do well, the only thing that's going to happen is the more you do well, the more they're going to agitate that, criticize that, become jealous of that, and that's going to come out in their words and their actions. Are they happy when you get a promotion? Are they happy that your business is successful? Are they happy in terms of you making movements and what you want to do? These are things you want to look out for because partnership in life is everything. You want to make sure that you have a good support base. That means that your partner should be celebrating you. If they're jealous, that is a red flag that you are in a toxic relationship. Number four, your partner holds you back. When I say this, in a healthy relationship, partners celebrate each other's successes. They mold each other into becoming better. But when you're when you're doing the opposite of that, your partner is criticizing you, making you feel bad. That progress is something wrong with you because you're progressing. Get out. You can't help that person. You can't heal that person. That person is hurting you, hurting who you are, and hurting who you want to become. Number five. You lack independence. They're taking full control of you, who you are, your sense of identity, control. You feel more restricted. They got all these different rules for you. Get out of that relationship. It's killing you. It's toxic. No one should manipulate you into becoming and doing something. Right. Don't go here with your family. Don't go over there with your friends. Get away from them or her. They're killing you in the relationship. It's manipulating. It's gaslighting. Stay away from that type of individual because they are crippling who you are and who you're supposed to become. So understand number six red flag. You you lack. Here it is. This is this is this is one of the things that just kind of it gets me. Your sense of self worth is lost. Right. Who you are in your own eyes has dramatically declined since you've been with this person. You've allowed their words to define you. You allowed their contradictive statements of who you are and your level of success or whatever you're doing. They they brought you down. 
your worth should never be determined by your partner. They should only support your idea of who you are. But you should never enter a relationship here in terms of your thought about yourself, idea about yourself, and right now you're down here. Your friends will more likely tell you you're looking bad. Real close friends. What's going on? Get out of that relationship. It's toxic. It's killing you. Toxic relationships cannot be healed. I'm going I'm to say that again because I want you to understand this. It cannot be healed. Time does not give these things solutions. It's understanding that you and this person should not be together. Because if any of these six things that I shared with you resonate with you, you need to move out of that relationship as soon as you can. Because that those are the type of things that hurt you. And the possibility of doing well in life. And we only got one life. That's it. And the longer you stay in this relationship, the longer it hinders you from becoming who you're supposed to be. Toxic relationships tend to stay long because one partner feels that they're obligated to help this other partner. And nothing can be further from the truth. You cannot heal your partner. Healing does not come from you. I know you want to help. That's not the way to do it. You can't help by you, by you being pulled down. The only way you can help is by you extending your hand to someone who you are not in the pit with. The moment you get in the pit, you can't help that person out. You have to be out of the pit to be able to reach down in the pit and pull them out the pit. You can't help a person in the pit. You got to be out. So the fact that you got into a relationship with that person, thinking I'm going to help them out of the pit, that says something's wrong with your idea about helping, number one. Also, I would question and ask questions about your upbringing, your experiences growing up, your emotional gaps, your traumatic childhood experiences, because that's speaking a lot to your need to help someone who's not helping themselves or not seeking healing for themselves. A person has to want to be healed. You are not the healer. I'm not the healer. But if someone wants help, I understand I'm not in the pit with them. I can help them. That's why I'm, ne I'm not, when people come to me, I'm not in their relationship. That's why they come to me. I'm not in the pit with them. So I can help them. Because I can see what they can't see because I have a different view than they have. Different vantage point when you're not in a relationship. That's why athletes, Professional sports, especially like football, they have coaches in the skybox because they have a different vantage view. So they're not on the field with them. Understand, guys, you cannot heal your partner. So you, the best thing you can do is get away from them, especially when they're impacting who you are and your perception of yourself. Now, help couples consistently. Through various ways, one is through counseling and coaching, another is through an online platform that I have uh, that actually has courses that you can download. Also, I have a three-day group communication intensive I do every month. So these are various ways to work with me. I have a book. If you haven't heard of it yet, let me just pull it out here off my desk. Uh -huh. It's called The Jimmy Rules. Uh, 60 pages, short, a lot of... A lot of content in here to help you move beyond. Very easy, practical, easy to read, short book, but has a and will have a huge impact on your perception of you and your relationships. I encourage you to get one of those different things to work with me so I can help you through your relationship and your challenges. We'll talk soon, guys.